can be quite useful uh, to use together or vice versa. Um, so I fit this some mathematics framework uh, that Emmanuel Fahi from ILL, who is a long time contributor to my stats, has made. Um, and it plays quite nice, nicely with my stats, but, but it can be used for a lot of other interesting things as well. Uh, the essential data types in the code is, uh, is two objects, one which is a data, data object, um, and that will contain a measured signal as a function of a number of variables. So this could be intensity as a function of Q identity or whatever. Uh, and then it also contains uh, a function object, so you can do all kinds of evaluations of functions on the axes that these data correspond to, uh, meaning filling functions, for instance. Uh, so it's, it's actually kind of a, a general numerical algebra to, yeah, also to do things that are not notion scattering oriented, um, but it, it's really very powerful. Uh, so quite a generic infrastructure, uh, and it gathers uh, data sets uh, in, in terms of having automated loading of many different things, fitting SQ Omega models and hooks to the MaxS software. So one of the things one can do, um, it also says uh, MATLAB in, uh, in certain parts of this, and uh, it, it's not a secret that it's actually based on MATLAB, this software. This, however, doesn't mean that you need a license because it comes in a pre-compiled version. So you, you will not need an actual MATLAB license. You will just need to run the binary iFit code, which is deployable on, uh, on Windows and on uh, Macs and on Linux as well. And uh, there will be uh, a link where you can download it, uh, but I also brought some USBs, so maybe, uh, maybe, you, uh, maybe you should yeah, try to find the relevant version for your operating system because that will be a small exercise afterwards. Um, so there should be an executable uh, on, there, on here for your platform. Um, so one of the things it, uh, it can do is uh, given uh, an, uh, an instrument model, so in this case it's a string called, called insta, so this would be the file name of your instrument file. Um, you can do things like uh, edit the model, this brings up the meta editor, uh, or you can actually plot the model. This in fact runs uh, an, M an MC display, if you like. So it's, a, it's an entirely uh, uh, yeah, a different interface to the use of Max uh, More importantly, what you can also do with it is that uh, you can actually uh, you can get the, the simulated data as an iData object, meaning a numerical object with axes corresponding to what you have on your on your monitors in Max So you see an output up here. Mm -hmm which is a set of monitors from next um, So data, data up here is uh, I data of model, um, and this will do a, a subplot of model that in fact actually executes on next test underneath, loads the data and plots that. It, it's, quite, uh, it's quite powerful and it's actually also quite, uh, I don't know what, what you say, it's, uh, it comes to mind easily how to use it. It's very intuitive to test the name. Intuitive uh, is the right label. Um, what you can do further is you can specify parameters, just like in the, in all of XS. In this model here, we run with a lambda of a given value. We put uh, the coherence scattering to be from copper, um, and then you can do things like a scan um, and all these things. So, what this goes in the direction of is evaluating MaxTest as uh, an object function, essentially a cost function, right? So, so in principle, the optimizer sets available in, uh, in iFit allows you to vary input parameters of a MaxTest, and then you, you define a criterion. This could be something like sample position intensity, 
or it could be something much more complex. Uh, maybe you fit a Gaussian to a resolution function, and this is now part of your figure of merit. Uh, so that's the sort of thing you can do. Um, yeah. Um, so, I mean, to really completely master this, of course, uh, this would also take uh, maybe a, a, another day of the course. And uh, yeah, for this reason, all I, I will give you here is a kind of teaser. So you, you have a chance uh, to start working with this, and then you have to refer to the website and the documentation and the user mailing list to really uh, probably use it for your, for your own case. But at least I will, I will start to give you a favor. But it has a number of different optimizers in here. Um, also some that are, I mean, something like a, a Leverberg Marquardt would not work very well with the noisy data we have in, in XS. So what we generally recommend uh, to use is, is, is uh, things like a particle swarm optimizer or genetic algorithm or yeah, some of these things that are, that are more targeted towards noisy data. Then you can do really strange things. Uh, this gives you meaning. So in, in some sense, max test can be a function, or the instrument file can be a function, and it has a functionality bound. Mm -hmm. So this means that in principle you can you can combine the output of two max test instruments, and that's yet another function. That's a little uh, that a little strange. So the idea here, the idea here is that, that maybe you have one that defines the structure and another that has the incoherent part. I think that's it's Let's just put here uh, because it's a bit scary and interesting to look at. Uh, anyway, uh, using it or trying to use it will give you a much better idea of what it can. Um, so I propose that you install it. Uh, it's available on the USB uh, uh, disks that I sent around. Um, or you may try and download it from, uh, from the website. Um, and then the idea would be that using one of the data sets that you did in the previous exercises, so this, this could be uh, a triple axis scan or it could be uh, one of the time of flight spectrometer uh, simulations, uh, you actually try uh, to load the data in, uh, in IFIT uh, and, and fit something to, to the output. So it gives you another level of, of uh, let's say, usability or interoperability of, of your simulation data. So once you've tried this very basic thing, there is actually uh, instructions uh, for some of uh, the example graphics on the IFIT page uh, that you should be able to reproduce. So there is the possibility to run at uh, a different server. And I, if I'm not mistaken, what you do is you vary a uh, monotonated curvature to increase the intensity of the second position. I think that's the... Uh, that's what the task is. <coughs> That's essentially what this uh, small exercise is about. Try to get the uh, iFit onto, onto your machines and we'll see if we can uh, make it work with uh, XTAS.